Hi everyone, Crystal Chester here with TrueHealthRD.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about diet drinks. For the longest time, people have known that the chemicals in there cross the blood-brain barrier and can lead to dementia and Alzheimer's. But so many times people would ignore that because they were so body conscious. They wanted to lose the weight and still enjoy their sugary drinks. Well, now research has shown that going diet, eating diet sodas actually can cause weight gain. And that may be confusing if you're like, wait a minute, but there are zero calories in diet. So how can it make you gain weight? Well, that would be simple if we were like machines and it really was a simple equation like calories in versus calories out and then you balance out. But we are so much more complicated than that. We have hormones, we have fluid balance, we have bacteria, flora, which all determine our weight. And so a study at the University of Yale coined it calorie dysregulation. So when you consume something that's sweet, that doesn't have any calories, your body can't measure the degree of sweetness with a calorie, so it signals you to keep eating. That's why whenever you reach for a diet soda, you can't just reach for a diet soda. You have to grab something else, maybe usually something salty like pretzels or chips or more fries. It doesn't hit the spot to just have a diet soda because your brain is telling you, hey, I need something. And then you give it something that has zero calories and only chemicals. And so it keeps that hormone up and it keeps it, you're telling your body, hey, keep eating because this is not it. One study at the Journal of American Nutrition found that Women who consumed um, diet sodas actually drank two to three more diet sodas than women who just drank one soda per day. It drives the fuel, drives the desire to eat. And another study with lab rats found that um, those who consumed artificial sweeteners, they ate more, their metabolism slowed down. In just two weeks, they gained 14% more body fat even with less calories. And if you've ever seen Biggest Loser, you know 14% is a lot of weight. Those people lose anywhere from two to five pounds, 5% 5 of their body weight per week. And in just two weeks, according to this study, these lab animals packed on 14% more body weight when they were consuming artificial sweeteners. So bottom line, if you're trying to shrink your waistline, stay the same or still enjoy sweet sodas, there's just no free pass. You have to break that sugar addiction. You have to, if you're used to drinking sodas every day and you qu can't quit cold turkey, cut it in half. If you're used to three, go down to one and a half sodas per day. If you're used to one, you know, drink only half a soda per day. And that goes for regular sodas and, and diet sodas. Diet sodas are going to cause obesity and um, heart disease and diabetes and so will regular sodas. It's best to just get rid of it. Your body will adapt to less sugar. You just have to make the change yourself, okay? <laughs> if you have not gotten your free meal plan and e-cookbook, please go to TrueHealthRD.com where you can get that for free. Also, please subscribe to this channel where you can get free health tips and I can show you how to live a healthier life. You guys have an awesome day. I'll catch you next time.